The Grand Canyon is a steep-sided canyon carved by the Colorado River over 6 million years. It is 277 miles long, up to 18 miles wide, and attains a depth of over a mile. The canyon and adjacent rim are contained within Grand Canyon National Park, the Kaibab National Forest, Grand Canyon Parashant National Monument, the Hualapai Indian Reservation, the Havasupai Indian Reservation, and the Navajo Nation. The Grand Canyon is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the U.S. Millions of people visit the canyon each year to hike, camp, raft, and view the scenery. The canyon is also a popular spot for scientific research. Geologists, paleontologists, and archaeologists have been studying the canyon for centuries. The Grand Canyon is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is considered one of the seven natural wonders of the world. About five million years ago, a lake was formed in what is now northern Arizona as a result of a natural dam that was filled with material. This is where the Grand Canyon tale begins. The mighty Colorado River started chiseling through the rocks as the lake drained, shaping the canyon that we now enjoy. Erosion is a powerful force that can produce some of the most beautiful landscapes on Earth. However, the Grand Canyon wasn't just created by erosion. The complex networks of canyons, valleys, and other features that give this region its amazing beauty has also been shaped by wind and water. Nature's forces have created a location of unmatched beauty and complexity over time, demonstrating the overwhelming power of our natural world. History is being rewritten in light of the recent discovery of footprints in White Sands National Park, which raises the possibility that humans were present in America much earlier than previously thought. People likely lived in the region 23,000 years ago, which is a startling 10,000 years earlier than what researchers had previously thought. Think about that for a minute. Everything we believe to be true about our history can be completely upended by this one tiny detail. It's similar to discovering a well-kept secret that alters the course of humanity's history. Imagine the excitement and fascination among archaeologists and other specialists as they attempt to make sense of this astounding discovery. However, it does provide some evidence of early human habitation in the Americas. The footprints discovered at White Sands National Park are a game-changer because they offer concrete proof that people were living in the Americas much earlier than we ever dared to believe. A mind-blowing revelation was recently discovered by scientists who followed the heat and rock history using a fancy technique called thermochronology. Here's how it went. The researchers collected rock samples from several canyon locations and came up with an unexpected finding. It appears that the geological transformations that occurred in the canyon's western and eastern sections over time were distinct. This could be attributed to the disintegration of the vast landmass known as Rodinia, which started over 700 million years ago. As a result, the Grand Canyon might have been shaped and influenced in diverse ways, giving rise to what we now call the Great Unconformity. This perplexing gap in the Earth's rock record has puzzled geologists for years, as it can be found all around the globe. However, its most prominent manifestation lies at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, where the 500-million-year-old Paleozoic Tappet Sandstone lies atop the ancient Proterozoic Vishnu Schist, which is estimated to be 1.4 to 1.8 billion years old. But don't fret, because a team of dedicated researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder has been on a relentless quest to unravel this geological mystery. Moving on to the Citadel was also driven to solve another mystery. He pleaded for help from the renowned Smithsonian Institution. Professor S. A. Jordan, who is well regarded, responded to his summons and led a group of brave souls into the depths. They felt a mixture of dread and sick interest. The truth started to emerge from the shadows with each stride. The Citadel made its sinister intent clear. It wasn't just a random collection of rooms and tunnels. Rather, it was a carefully constructed metropolis that served as an eerie memorial to a long-gone age. This subterranean abyss had formerly been home to thousands upon thousands. The cloak of time shrouded their fate. Who were they? What haunting secrets lay buried within these haunted halls? My friend, the solutions are shrouded in secrecy and are just waiting for someone with the courage to open their icy grasp. You see, the civilization that built this citadel was extremely advanced for its time and significantly more civilized than any of the indigenous tribes that had long since inhabited the region. Now we know what you're thinking. Perhaps it was merely an extraordinary tribe indigenous to the area, but the truth is far more haunting. Whispers among the scientific community painted a surreal picture. Some dared to suggest that this civilization had emerged from the distant lands of Egypt or Asia, and the evidence unearthed 
seem to substantiate these outrageous claims. Artifacts discovered within the Citadel surpass the region's ordinary standards of craftsmanship, hinting at the unfathomable secrets concealed within its walls. Indeed, the entire expanse exuded an eerie ambiance, evoking the image of a formidable warrior's stronghold. Driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, Kincaid and Professor Jordan dispatched countless boxes brimming with artifacts and meticulously documented research notes to the prestigious Smithsonian Institute. All in a desperate bid to substantiate their audacious hypothesis, yet their hunger for discovery could not be sated. They yearned to delve deeper to unravel the enigmas entwined within this ancient civilization. Thus, they beseeched the Smithsonian for additional resources and a formidable team of experts. After all, they had assumed the institution shared their fervor and quest for truth, but sadly their request was met with cold rejection. The Grand Canyon is like a fascinating history book that patiently waits for us to open the pages and reveal the mysteries of our planet's past. We are getting closer to understanding the complex web of events that have shaped our planet and its inhabitants, and we're not just talking about the tribes here, according to the study's lead author, Bera Peak, who calls it a window into bygone eras that offers a glimpse into the astounding events that have shaped our world over billions of years. We're referring to the individuals who were present when no one suspected anything. G.E. Kincaid was an intrepid explorer who had a borderline compulsive obsession with the canyon. Angered by the news that the canyon would soon be off limits to tourists, Kincaid set out on one last adventure, a risky boat journey down the Colorado River. As he walked farther into the swift currents of the river, Kincaid daydreamed of discovering rich minerals like gold, silver, and copper. He was unaware that the river's course would expose him to something much more intriguing and frightening. After traveling for around 40 miles, he saw something strange. The towering sediment formations that towered over him were marked by strange stains. A mysterious force seems to have left its mark on this barren environment at that location, defying explanation. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Kincaid abandoned his boat and embarked on an arduous journey on foot, forging a path where none existed. Step by step, he ascended the colossal sandstone cliffs until an awe-inspiring discovery halted his breath. Countless steps were carved into the ancient rocks, leading to a hidden ledge on the canyon side. Astonishingly, these steps guided him to a man-made entrance defying all reason and logic. The entrance unveiled a concealed passageway adorned with mysterious Egyptian hieroglyphics nestled within the heart of the Grand Canyon itself. Kincaid stood dumbfounded, gripped by disbelief. Before the Grand Canyon was even seen by humans, it was a majestic wonder. Under its soaring cliffs, a long-gone civilization flourished in secret. Unknown to the general public, a subterranean metropolis was waiting for one adventurous explorer to discover its dark depths. That explorer was Kincaid. Kincaid felt a terrible chill sweep across his spirit as he descended further into the subterranean abyss. It seemed as though the atmosphere itself was whispering ominously, engulfing him in a pall of unsettling fascination. He found himself suddenly on the verge of an incredible discovery. The entire underground city unraveled before his trembling eyes. What he encountered defied the bounds of reason, sending his heart racing with a mixture of terror and thrill. Rooms sprawled out like yawning caverns, their vastness swallowing his every thought. Yet it was the impenetrable walls that stood as a testament to the otherworldly feat of engineering a testament to human ingenuity, pushed to its terrifying limits, but there was more to this nightmare than met the eye. Granaries that were previously teeming with activity nonetheless held on to the remains of their previous occupants. Their ceilings converged towards a sinister center, a design that defied human logic. Copper tools forged by hands unknown bore witness to an enigma that defiled the boundaries of history itself. Fully aware of the significance of his discovery, Kincaid christened this subterranean nightmare, plunging them into the tempest of despair and frustration. Just as the flames of their anger began to lick at their souls, Kincaid and Jordan vanished without a trace, gone, vanished from the face of the earth. The workers under their command fared no better, for they met their own macabre fates. Some met their demise, while others simply disappeared into thin air. Those who remained offered naught but enigmatic silence, their eyes betraying a terror they dared not utter, but that was not all. The iron hand of the government descended upon the scene, sealing off the area from all prying eyes. Why one might wonder? 
If there were no sinister truths to conceal, would such a concerted attempt be made? However, other things were hushed up as well. Legends and rumors often have a kernel of truth throughout the world. Consider the tales of enormous skeletons discovered all over the western United States. Even though they might sound like something from a science fiction book, there are allegations that they exist. Some accounts even claim that the Pueblo societies had their myths about extraterrestrial beings. Archaeologists in Oklahoma discovered something unusual while excavating the mounds. These mounds differed greatly from European structures, and the skeletons discovered were said to be as tall as 7 or 8 feet, towering over most people today. The Smithsonian was supposedly called in to examine these findings, but things took a peculiar turn. While some claim the giant skeletons were indeed sent to the Smithsonian for further study, others insist there is no record of such events. It appears that evidence of these colossal skeletons has been hidden away. The truth remains elusive buried beneath a veil of mystery. Now, there is one thing that would confirm everything to be true, and that is if we had the bodies of the people who lived in these areas. Well, it turns out that a person named G.E. Kincaid did find mummies when he first explored the caves. He found lots of them, and they were in perfect condition, wrapped in cloth and bark with copper trinkets around them. It was clear that a big team had gone through all the evidence, and Kincaid sent his findings to the Smithsonian, but the real evidence has been hidden by individuals in positions of authority. Some people have no faith in anything related to mummies or the Egyptians, while others are persuaded that there is an unavoidable cover-up. Thank you so much for watching this. If you liked our video, please click the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Click on the notification bell to receive notification when we upload new videos to the channel and share this video with your family and your friends. Thanks again for watching. For more content, like and share our channel for more information.